get to work. is right. I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. I suppose so. Even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <sighs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah! We're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. 
Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Seriously! Why are you still alive? <sighs> do us a favor. And die already! Take this! 
This one. Okay. Thanks. Okay. This one. Out of its attack range, which is proving difficult. Stop charging ahead. Don't have the stamina for that. Let's go. I will do what I need to, Sasaba. Just like that. Good job, Kyogre. Yeah, here I go. Yeah. 
Okay, we're healed up. Let's get our A house going. Pull out of the tag, come on. That's gonna be enough. Okay, we've got a showtime. Probably oh, still not gonna be enough. But. Oh, you. Ooh. I've done one HP. I will take it. Oh, Ryuji, come on. Not good, come on. He's almost done. Yeah, he does. This one. This one. Okay. Sorry. Come on, we're almost done. Fire, wind, light, and dark. Let's go. Come, take this. Gotta exploit those weaknesses. Astonishing. Persona. Good, do it. No, no, not SP. Okay. Super got even follow up attack. Hell yeah. Got it. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Something's up. Ooh, that was. Hmm. This game does not go easy, does it? Uh, what do we got here? What? You just broke the lock. What? Okay. Whoa, badass! Rampage. Okay. Bad. Getting stronger, Joker. Awakens to a new power. Medea. Nice. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the Warden guarding the key. A Warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? 
Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. I mean... Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these. Or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. The palace's owners didn't hold keys to their palaces either. They were the stabilizing force keeping the palace up, but they didn't hold keys, keys to sections. The real world person, like the real world person, just. But. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Yes, mm -hmm. Sophie. Very you good. You know it. Praise accepted. Well, I'll praise you all you want later. We've got a bird cage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. It's Phantom Faith time. that's left to send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, we shall take back the desires you've seized. Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. Hopefully. So, What'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. No duh. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but if you guys are all up for it, I want to rescue Alice too, not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it, because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? A little. Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to palace generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. Eh, I mean, it's what the girl tried to do to her. Her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Does she share a dream? That could be. I just can't believe she was lying when she said that. I'm with you. Let's do it. No oh, objections here thing. either. However, Oops. should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. 
Absolutely. I mean, That's yeah, we're phantom face. We don't take scenario, Just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Make it better. You know it. This is going to be our best one so far. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we got to figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a oh, special of reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We got to do this right. Oh, and up. Is there anything you've got to do? Make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once we send the calling card, there's no backing out. 